I've conducted many reviews for my YouTube channel of Olympus cameras and lenses. Rather than call them reviews, it might be more accurate to call them experiences. Why? Well, instead of giving you numbers and graphs, I'd give you instead, guess what? Photographs. Surely a better guide. Many of which have been published. I'm more artistic than technical. Therefore, I like to present subjects that most photographers can take for themselves. And not only that, to give an experience review without gobbledygook or indeed romantic waffle. I learned my craft back in 1959, so you can regard me as a traditional photographer who knows about shutter speeds and apertures beyond achieving a correct exposure. I do embrace elements of computerization, for example, image stabilizers in both camera and lens have removed the need for a tripod, and in post-production, Photoshop has also removed the requirement for filters, as you can do much after the image is taken, and best of all, you can backtrack. For this, incidentally, I always save my images to RAW. Then there is spot metering, much easier with an electronic finder. Therefore, it is from this standpoint that I review, or experience, should I say, cameras and lenses. People often say to me, oh, but that Derek is wrong. But the point is, if it works, and I can get it published, then to hell with anything else, quite honestly. My current favourite optic is the 12 to 100 Pro lens. It has been around for some while and has withstood the test of time, so it is a safe purchase. It has a generous 8.5 times zoom ratio at f4 constant aperture. The lens has image stabilization that can be used with the stabilizer in the EM1, and one second handheld exposures are possible with this combination. At f4 maximum aperture, I can perform differential focusing provided I understand traditional photography. The numbers might be different, but the results are the same. Ergonomically, the 12 to 100 performs best on the EM1, but it is a bit weighty, particularly for bus pass holders. I am very much a fan of the lighter EM10 for long walks, and it only costs hundreds of pounds, not thousands. The kit lens is the 14 to 42 pancake, but prior to acquiring the 12 to 100, I found the 12 to 50 much better than often thought. Sadly, it is no longer in production, but I still have one. I found the 8 to 25 wide angle zoom more versatile than the 7 to 14 Pro. The 12 to 200 is very useful at telephoto for getting in close. Both are less expensive, and I find the images are acceptable for publication. I have reviewed many Olympus cameras from TUF to OMD. See playlist by following the link top right. If I was a sports or nature photographer, I would use Pro Capture, but Rather than use HDR, I prefer to exercise my post-production skills to correct high-contrast images. I still use a tripod for certain telephoto shots, but one application where they are essential, yet hardly ever used, is video. Otherwise, you end up with what is known as hose piping. But then, Olympus have produced a stabilizer to correct that as well.